In the morning, it's moped madness. At noon, it's still going on. And even at night, the traffic is relentless. It's like all 9 million residents of Ho Chi Minh City are out on the go 24-7. Just imagine crossing the road. Super. We've hired Tom Magna, forensic electrical expert with over 30 years experience. If it causes a shock, he's the doc. If your fuse goes off, he's the prof. Although, strictly speaking, he is neither. Expert Tom settles into the hide downstairs, ready to watch everything that occurs. I don't like the sound of that. He's working life. He's not actually going to do that, is he? We've got to tell him to turn it off now. And the tile's just gone. What about tile cement? Expert Tom examines the work. You can see that's a little bit loose. I'm taking some time off from being a forensic scientist to be the other half of me, a broadcast journalist. I'm working for Carers World Radio, running a programme called Carers World Investigates. So that's how you do it. OK, what's he got to do in this house? Thoroughly check the house first, so he's going to find the smash socket upstairs. He's then got to do some testing, so he'll find the earth fault in one of the sockets in the kitchen. He'll find the continuously live problem in one of the other kitchen sockets. He's got to do all of that before he changes the fuse board for a consumer unit. Absolutely essential. Absolutely essential. We're in action. Forensic electrical engineer Tom Magna agrees. He's acted as an expert witness in many cases involving faulty electrical products. Oh, he's going to jam that in so he's got light to work by. I don't believe this. No, he's not going to do that. So what he's done is he's run a light straight off the incoming mains because the fuse is out. It'll be the fuse in the street that goes if anything happens. So by doing what he's doing, he's risking the supply to the entire street. Yes, it's appalling practice. The problem I've discovered here is that is with this cord protector, it's too flexible. What it should do is stop the cable in here passing through it, stop it forming a bend. Now, if you look at the damaged one, the faulty iron, you can see at this bend what's happened is that the wires inside the cable have bunched together. The insulation has broken down, the copper wires inside have touched each other, that's produced a short circuit. What it points to is a design problem with this product. Oh, oh. He's lost his, he's he's lost his light now. We're going back into the service cutout again. This is, this this, is, really this is just... That's his this, fingers. This is just unbelievable. The manufacturers should urgently investigate this and recall this product. This is kind of making the case for getting properly qualified and registered, isn't it? Absolutely. Quite, quite graphically. Yeah. And remember, this is a notifiable job under the building regulations, Part P. Well, this is the crowning glory. This is the really dangerous point. This is totally and utterly unacceptable. He's left the main service cutout lid hanging off. So the householder has been left with what they think is a system that is safe. They run the risk of touching the metal of the cover against the live conductor, and that could have fatal consequences. It is so dangerous left like this. Wherever you are, from Wakefield to Western Supermare, the Shetlands to Shenfield, Austria to Australia, join us on carersworldradio.com. Have your say. Another person who waits oh, with bated breath is Tom Magna, happen. journalist and programme anchor. Are we ready next door? Because yeah, Ron's looking out there. I'm not sure. Do you want me to check? Yeah, just check. Yeah. Because yeah. I want to come out of this immediately. <laughs> 